My squadron flew the versatile Pilatus Porter aircraft, often at night to rudimentary strips. The mission for this evening was to resupply an isolated patrol using heli boxes and two 44-gallon drums mounted under the wing and released from inside the cockpit. I briefed my crew, safety first, talk to the maintenance personnel and double check the drum mounts. The bush strip was lit by just three silo sticks on the edge of the runway. I kept both eyes glued to the last silo stick to keep us straight. But when we lifted off and switched back to instruments, the fun started. I checked the attitude indicator, which was fine, but the airspeed indicator, or ASI, to my horror, was flopping about on zero, totally useless. Time seemed to slow down. The stall warning was blaring away, but I didn't register it as my attention was on the ASI. I set the correct attitude and prayed the engine would keep going. We climbed away okay. Finally, I registered the stall warning was blaring and set a slightly lower climb attitude that silenced the horn. The initial crisis was over, but I faced the challenge of making a circuit and landing with no ASI. Final approach was a little nerve-wracking, but the descent rates were okay, the picture looked right, and I gave the aircraft a little more power than usual to keep the stall warning silent. I realised I'd focused so much on ensuring the drums were all right that I'd forgotten to remove the pedo cover. I should have been more diligent in my pre-flight, and should have checked my ASI was working early in the roll. What lessons did I learn? Check, check, and check again. Recognise that we're all only human, so always be prepared for your own mistakes and those of others. Find out more information on pre-flight planning and preparing for all possibilities before takeoff on CASA's Pilot Safety Hub, casa.gov.au forward slash pilots.